Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, 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 Harrison. How's everything? You're driving back home. Ray, how are you doing, Ray? Yes, teacher, and I'm driving. Okay, yeah, I can see that. So welcome, guys. It's eight already, and we are going to start. Um, welcome, JC. Welcome, Narciso. Marlene, I can see you guys are Good already. Good evening. Uh, Daniel is just connecting. Harrison is driving. Evening, sure. Ray is there. Uh, welcome, Daniel. Welcome, Narciso. Okay, so guys, Thank welcome you. to our. Yeah, take care. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to our session number four. This is um, today is Tuesday, and uh, let me start by checking the attendance. Okay, so let's see. First one on the list is uh, well, let's see. It is just opening Narciso. Hello, Narciso. I'm here, teacher. I'm nice. here. Thank you so much, Christina. Number two. Christina. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Christina. Daniel, number your number three. Thank you. Um, let's see, it's August 24. This is wow, it's super fast. And number uh four, we have Elsie. Is Elsie connected? I think she isn't, right? Okay. Next one is uh Gabriela Guadalupe. Not connected. Okay. Um, let's move on. Next one is Harrison Manuel. Yes, I, I heard and I saw Harrison. And Jose Miguel. Sorry. It's okay. Jose Miguel. No. Okay. Let's move on. Ruben. No, not connected yet. Okay. Next one, JC. Yes, I saw JC. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, JC. Um, Linda, is Linda connected? I'm here, teacher. Hey, Linda, how's it going? Okay, I'm glad you, you made it. Next one, Thanks. Maria Idalia. No, okay. Uh, next one, Maria Julia, Mary Julie, as Rafa says. Maria Julia. Present, Thank Present. you so much for being connected. Uh, next one, Marlene Nicole. Present. Rivera, thank you. Next one here on my list is Marvin. Marvin, is he connected? Not yet. Okay, Norma Carolina. Present. Present teacher. Okay, thank you and thank you. Uh, next one, Rafael. Mr. Rafael Ernesto Hernandez. I'm here. In your corner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see. Rafa is, Rafa is here. Next one. Uh, Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Vasquez. Next one. Ray. Present teacher. Thank you. Xiomara. Next one. Judy, not connected yet, okay. So, uh, well guys, welcome. This is like I said at the beginning, this is class number four. And uh, we are going to study today about um, a topic which I consider is not gonna be that new for some of you, but maybe for some of you, it's going to be something new that we need to reinforce or we need to practice, okay? I like to start with something. Uh, let's see, Gabriela. Thank you, Gabriela. Elsie is here, I think, as well. I like to start with a very quick. Good evening. Uh, good evening. I want to start with a very uh, random question. Okay. Um, so this is the question. Um, let me share the screen. Let me just open it. I want to hear some opinions. Okay, about it. So I'm gonna give you one minute for you to um, read the question and then think about a possible answer, okay? 
I know sometimes we have uh, these great days. Sometimes we do not have great days at work, but this time I want you to think about something positive or positive from your work. So Rafa, do me a favor. Can you please read the question you are looking on the screen? Yes. Reflecting, teacher, only read. Read the question, yes. Reflecting and then read the question, please. Okay. What's one thing that you love about your work that make is a possible place for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is or what's one thing that you love about your work that makes it a positive place for you? Okay, so think about it. I give you one minute and then I want to hear your opinions. Okay, so. I think you have it already. It's okay. Now I want to hear, guys, your opinions. Raise your hand and say what comes to your mind. Maybe if you don't wanna say thing, Think about some other thing, some, some other areas or aspects or um, even people. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We have first participation and this is Daniel. Yes, Daniel. Okay, teacher. Uh, one thing is I know about my work is um, I am happy working. It's um, because in the other works, um, I'm 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 having a lot of stress. Stress in the other works. In in this works, I I have three four years for work in in that place and I I I am today tired but satisfied because the work the, the the job who I do is is satisfying for, for me. In that in that for that reason is a positive place for me. Thank you so much for sharing, Daniel. You just reminded me about a phrase that I read in on a book that says, um, "Physically tired but mentally happy." Yes. yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yes. Sometimes it's like that. Stress is is you know all the time. I mean, in every work, there's some stress, but then uh, sometimes when you like what you do that changed the atmosphere, right? And, and I love what you said, okay? Because if you have four years or so, that's a good indicator. So thank you so much for sharing your experience. I want to hear more people speaking, okay? So don't be afraid and just open your mic. Thank you, Daniel. Next one. What do you want to share? Nobody wants to share. Come on. I don't think there isn't anything you want to talk about. At least, I don't know, maybe there's, um, I don't know, a cafeteria or something that makes you happy that you can get some coffee for free. I don't know, maybe the whatever. I mean, something. There must be something at work that makes you feel at ease or okay. 
One more participation. Come on, don't be shy. Me, teacher. Thank you so much. In my case, I love about development and good environment in my workplace. Okay, the development and the environment. Okay, yes, I like that. The environment is cool. I want to change question. Maybe my question is not that appealing for you. Okay, what about this one? Let's see, what makes you happy and why? Do I only have like sad people here? I don't think so. There must be something. What makes you happy? Do you know what makes you happy, Maria Idalia? Um, maybe go out with my family. Um, and because they are um, good, they are uh, with buena salud. Good I don't know health. How to say. In, in, in good health conditions. Good health conditions, yeah. Awesome. I like it. Okay, what else? What else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Take one minute and I'm gonna give you some, some time. Take one minute. Okay, uh, let's see who wants to, hello? Guys, can you listen to me? Raquel? Yes. Tell me, Raquel, don't be shy. What makes you happy and why? Does your, I don't know. Be uh, with my little dogs. <laughs> okay, be with your dogs. Okay, I like it. You know, it's, it's yeah. a good. <laughs> you have and a pet lover. Sleep and eat and be, go to the beach. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> maybe watching a movie i don't know drinking a cup of coffee listening to a good song uh, i don't know playing an instrument what makes you happy being with your family as as idalia said okay those things are making you happy. right being being at home sound and safe you know um so all those things uh you know that makes you don't need to share if you don't like to share but then it's okay to reflect that's a good you know exercise we all have to do guys today we are going to talk about a uh, structure which is um how to speak or how to talk about the future there are many ways how to talk about future but today we're going to study one which is something that we have already practiced and let me ask you a question directly. Let's see, uh, Norma, do you buy online? Do you purchase online, Norma? Um, sometimes, teacher. Sometimes. Uh, a little things. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, accessories, uh, the cell phone, for example. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Let's see, uh, JC, do you purchase online? No teacher. No, you don't do that. Uh, who purchases online? Who buys things online? Raise your hand Mr. if you do. You do? Okay, what do you usually buy online, Daniel? Um, I, uh, I'll say um, at, at this, at this, at this day, I receiving a package. I buy uh, a key, key, key chain. 
Oh, uh, okay, a keychain. It's a, it's a keychain. Chain. It's very, very different. It's like uh, the you put the key like a uh, Swiss Army knife. No, very nice. it's, I imagine. It's not. It's not. Come it's on. Not sound, it's not nice. It's not the nice, mm -hmm. but the with the keychain mm -hmm. you bring, it's not mm -hmm. nice. This is the I go. I'm gonna receive this day. Okay, I like it. Um, yeah, and sometimes there are promotions, right? And of course, there are some specific accessories which are not sold physically, but you can purchase them online, like those accessories, like the one you're saying, Daniel. Okay, and who else? What do you usually purchase online besides um, maybe accessories? Is there any no. other thing? Clothes, yes, clothes. Now, nowadays, it's very common, right? And when you purchase online, and if it's if it's let's say with a big company, um, what did you get that as a proof that you got that you are going to receive your order? What do you get, guys? What do they give you? I give you my address. So, okay, you give them your address and what do they give you that you have a proof that you are going to receive this order? Because if you pay like with your credit card or debit card, there is something that, you know, that is going to back up in case, you know, something happened, right? So what do you get for you to uh, follow up on your order? Are the you giving... person in delivery. <laughs> okay, yes, the person who will deliver. Okay, and um, what do you know about FedEx, for example, or UPS? Have, do you know anything about this, these companies? Or maybe here, yeah. here, here in our country, we have Urbano, I think. Yes, Urbano. I re when, I, when I buy, I receive a uh, order truck. You receive an order track. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. So an order track, okay, what do we use or when do we use an order track? Yeah, express teacher. Okay, yes, exactly. And then uh, we are gonna talk about tracking numbers. Do you know what, tra what a tracking number is, anybody? What is a tr tracking number? What's track? It means what? Any idea? Rastrear. Okay, yes, yes. I like that translation. Tracking numbers. So when you have an order, when you place an order, even if you do it online or on the phone, you're always given a tracking number so you know where the package is, right? And in a track, what do we have in a tracking number, guys? What do we have in a tracking number or the order track? What do we have in, what are those details that we find in this? What do you know? We what? find what is, what is the date of, uh, of shipping the package? Okay. Where is the, the position? Or, or the limitation in that in, in, in the moment if I I consult in the tracking mm -hmm. number. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we can find, as you said, Daniel, we, we need to check on the location, the address, and all that information, right? On the screen, as you can see, and also on your notebooks or handouts, you guys have this information. This is what you can see here is a shipping label, right? A shipping label contains all the information for you to ship something. And what are those means in which we can ship? Generally, we can ship what? Not only by plane, we can do it on the um, what? On the ground, yes. And um, even, you know, some people do it on the, on the maybe on a, on a ship, you know, which is, and well, this is a shipping label and we are going to read it because it has all the information for you to follow up on your order, right? I would like to have one volunteer to help me read this information about uh, this shipping label. Maybe we're gonna do it by parts. Uh, 
who can read this part? The first one that I'm just making a sort of like a circle. What do we find here? Look at this one. JC, help us read this part, please. Um, upper right corner. Good teacher. Mm -hmm. From Traverse in 23, Glen Wade, San Carlos, CA. Um, o five seven zero, made in USA. Thank you so much. US. Yes, made in US. Um, as you can see here, we have the from information. So basically, when we have the from, is the place where this order is coming, right? Where this is this package is coming from. Now, this is a shipping label that goes to El Salvador, right? I need to listen to somebody else to read the next part of the information. So let's see, I'm going to have Marvin. Marvin, can you read the next one, the next part of the shipping label? Two. Okay. Uh... To uh, uh, to literal uh, a ro roll um thirty four La Unión El Salvador. Okay, thank you so much. Now we have the front and now we have the two. So front two. Okay, great. And what else do we have here? We have an, a, num a reference number here, which uh, we are not gonna read it. This is double O and blah, blah, blah. And then we have the tracking number. This is what we were talking about. The tracking number, as we have said, is uh, this number, which will be used to follow up on this package to see where it is located and so on and so forth, okay? Now, the shipping label also contains the quantity. How many units does this order have, Marlene? Uh, yes. How many units does this order have? Three, no, 65 units. Exactly, it has 65 units. And the shipment is what? The shipment, uh, it, it says 7A4. This is the number of the shipment, okay? This is the shipment number. And the sender, we have the sender, some like initials. Maybe there's a person who's sending or there's a company who's sending this uh, order. And we have some initial A, B, six, seven, H. And we have a number, another reference number. And we have the manufacturing date. This is basically when it was manufactured. And the uh, weight, which is 120 pounds. Now, uh, let me clarify the following. This is just one format. Of course, each company has their own shipping label. This is just one way. And maybe some other company will consider, you know, to include or not this information. Okay, but this is what we're going to do now. Based on this information, guys, take, take two minutes or more and answer the next, uh, the next questions. We have here four questions. What is the shipping address? Write it down, okay? What is the, the mailing address? And then how many units? And what is the manufacturing date? Go ahead and answer, please. When you finish, please, if you finish really fast, I will appreciate if you can let me know.
to my teacher, yo tengo problemas con el audio, casi no escuché muy bien la indicación. Uh -huh. este, entendería, teacher, que vamos a contestar las preguntas de acuerdo al con la información del recuadro. Sí, con la información de la, de la etiqueta de, de, de envío, uh -huh. shipping label. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss Teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, and I want to know if Judy, Maria Julia, Jose Miguel, Elsie, and Gabriela can listen to us because I don't see them, but I know they're connected. Um, Judy, are you here? Maria Julia, are you here? I know Harrison is driving, but then Jose, Elsie, Gabriela. Yeah. Ok, uh, estamos nada más respondiendo las preguntas con base o based on this shipping label. Un label es una etiqueta de envío, es una, es un, es just a format, hay un montón de, de formatos, pero this is one, you know, suggested, uno sugerido. Ok, and let's see. I don't know, maybe you, you already finished and then you want to share. That's really cool. And Daniel. You the one you finish already. So let's start with you, Daniel. What is number one, Daniel? What do you have for number one? Let's see. Would you like to share? Okay. Uh, number one, what is the shipping address? Uh -huh. The shipping address is Nicola and Row, number 34, La Union, El Salvador. That is the shipping address. Yes. And what it's, is the uh, what is the mailing address, Daniel? The mailing address is 23 Glenway, San, San Carlos, California, 0570. Okay. Do you mm, guys no. do you guys agree with that? I want to hear more opinions. Disagree. Okay. Can you explain to me why? I think um, the mailing mailing address is literal road 34 la union el salvador and shipping address <clears throat> is in traverse inc 23 glen way san carlos ca mm -hmm. let's hmm. see anybody else we have two different opinions now i want to hear more opinions Number one, she is teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Narciso, what's your opinion? Uh, from Travelers Inc. 23. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is in California, right? And I, and okay. And what about the mailing address, Narciso? What, teacher? What is the mailing address, number two? Uh, address uh -huh. Glenway San Carlos CA 0570 so that would be the mailing maybe, address maybe in, U, maybe in USA maybe in the USA okay now we have another opinion so maybe um, so what do you think Idalia I saw you nodding like this and, and then nodding like that so so what's your opinion I'm not agree with Daniel. Uh, I think that the the shipping address is uh, it's Litoral Road number thirty four La Union El Salvador. Okay, so now we have two against one. What do you think, Rafa? And then I think, uh, um, that's, what's your opinion? What is mailing address? The mail address. 
mailing address. This is not an email address. This is the mail ad physical address, basically. So this is the physical address, mailing address. Rafa, what's your opinion? Um, uh, I think Gulen uh, Way San Carlos and, and mailing address. That's the mailing address. Okay, so you agree with um, with Daniel and Idalia. Any, what about the rest? What do you guys think? Any other opinion? In my opinion, uh, number one is Glenway San Carlos. Glenway San Carlos is number one, the shipping address. And when you listen or when you see the word mailing address, guys, what comes to your mind? Mail address. Do you guys have mailing address at home? Do we have that in here in our country? Do you know what a mailbox is? Guys, have you heard this, this term, mailbox? Uh, or, or... Uh, how say postal apart apartado, apartado postal mm -hmm. and why do or what do we use them for what do when we use I know, when I know when I know share my the address of my house in my case mm -hmm. or, when, or when I have when I have uh, uh, I'm con Contracted um, postal service at the, in this case, is Correo del Salvador. And yeah, exactly. Now, when do we use them? Or what do you use them for? Hmm. Para que usamos when, esos? To when, send when, or to receive? To receive exactly 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 so okay. that's that's the key right there the mailing address is where something is going to be delivered and then shipping address is basically where it's this is coming from okay so mm -hmm. that is the idea and then that's why uh, i want to agree with uh, marlene because that would be the one the mailing address is where something is delivered and the shipping address in this case can be where something is coming from because that's basically if we didn't have the mailing address then it would be a little bit confusing but in this scenario we need to specify where this is going to be delivered and that's why we have uh, the leader of road uh, number 34 and so on is where this package is going to be delivered so uh, mailing address is in this case the from and um, the, yeah, the mailing address is the two and the shipping address is the from okay that's that's basically the answer in this case i agree with marlene that's the one and what about i think the next ones are easier right how many units are in the package let's see somebody who hasn't participated maybe let's see um lc what about how many units are in the package based on this information? Can you just take a look at here on um, this other information and tell me how many units are in this package or in this order? Or maybe, I don't know if Elsie can listen. Or maybe um, see who else can I have? Judy. Good night. Seven, seven, five units. Seventy. I'm sorry. Which one did you say? The Seven five, seventy five. 
75. Uh, it's very close, but then we have a six number right there. So how did you read that? Uh, we say we say mm -hmm. it's not a 75 then it is what it we is say a, 70, it's 75 is a 65 it, exactly 65 uh -huh. 60 it's not 70 okay 65 and um I think the next one, maybe you can help us out uh, with this, with this, the manufacturing date. What is the manufacturing date? Can you take a look at the shipping label and then tell me what's the manufacturing date? 12 April 2013. Exactly. So that will be 12 April 2013. So that will be the manufacturing date. Okay. Um, so let's go over this once again. I want to hear, I want to see, I want to hear six volunteers to read the question and to also uh, give me the answers. Okay. And I want uh, to hear people who um, haven't, I don't know, maybe participated yet. So let's see. Number one, I want to hear uh, Xiomara, number two, Cristina, number three, Gabriela, number four, I don't know if Elsie can listen to me, Elsie, maybe not, okay, let's go ahead and um, read the question and also the answer, please, once again, number one. Ready. Exactly. Read the question and read the answer. That's all I want to hear, please. Uh, what is the what is the shipping address? Uh, the address um, Littoral Road, La Unión, El Salvador. Um, well, we made that observation. The shipping address is where the from, where the package is being sent from. So then we say that it is, it's the other one. Oh, please. okay. Green Travers in 23. 23. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, 23. And yes, then? 23. Uh -huh. Yeah. Keep reading. Read the oh, entire no. information, please. Glenway, blah, blah, blah. Glenway, San Carlos, CA. And City of Pie, Seven City, Madrid in the USA. Okay, made in the US. Okay, thank you so much. Who did I say number two? Please read number two. Next one. What is the meeting address? The meeting address is Literal Road 34 La Union in Salvador. In Salvador. Thank you so much. Number three. Next one. Who did I say number three? No, maybe not listening. So let's choose one more. Um, let's see, uh, I don't know. Let's, Jose Miguel, can you help us with number three, please? Only read the question and read the answer. Uh, how many units are the package? Mm -hmm. uh, Puede subirlo. Roll up. Please. Roll up. Ajá. Ajá. Look at this. Roll up. Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, how many units are in the package? Uh -huh. 16, 65 units. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. And we have the me, last one. Teacher, uh, a mí, la te cuarta? Sí. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you for your participation. Okay. What is the manufacturing date? A manufacturing date is 12 uh, for 
check uh -huh. iPhone. Wow. Mm. Que se me olvidó cómo se dice 2003. Pro. It's okay. The easiest way to read the number is to get two numbers, two and two, like 2013. Like you get two num two uh, two and two, like 20 and then 13. And then uh, this one, it's April. Can you try again, please? Can you read the question and give me the answer all at once? Can you try again, please? Please remember this is April and this is 2013. You just say like in two, like you get two numbers and two numbers. That's the easiest way to read a date. Try again, please. Go ahead. Date 12 for uh, thousand for, for three. La manera más, más fácil de leer una fecha es agarrar de dos en dos. Cuando es un número, up, por ejemplo, el año, podemos decir 20 y luego decimos 13. 2013. 2013. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Exactly. Quiero hacer un, nada más un comentario um, con relación a eso. Thank you so much for your participation. Por lo general, en, en English, las fechas llevan el mes primero. Este formato lo han hecho un poco, um, lo han adaptado, pero le han puesto el día. Es, es, si fuese así, ¿cómo, cómo, lo, cómo lo, lo, lo leeríamos? Digamos que si fuera en ese escenario, este, en inglés, por lo general ponen el month. Siempre ha sido así. ¿Cómo lo diríamos? Exactly, 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 exactly. Si un formato English siempre va a ir el month first, eso, eso es trascendental, que vaya el mes primero y luego va el día. Entonces sería December 4th, 2013, exactly, exactly. El formato Spanish es que primero va el día y después va la... La, el, el mes. Está bien tener los dos, sin embargo, if everything is in English, we want to say first the month. Eso siempre. Month and then the date. That's the way it works. Um, si yo escribo, vaya, voy a poner un par de ejemplos, quiero que me los lean. Si pongo um, así, a ver, vamos a pedir a voluntarios que nos ayuden. Sí. Um, Give me a second, please. Uh, Xiomara, help me with this one. I sent one date on the chat. Can you read it, please? How would you read it, Xiomara? Trate, y no sé si logra ver el número que mandé. Take into account the English format because we have. How would you say it? No, the one that I sent on the chat. Can you see the? Can you see the chat? ¿Cómo se escribe en chat? Uh, let me, maybe uh, I'm going to use the screen so you can see it easier. This is the one I sent on the chat. I sent this one. Um, let's see, this is the one. How would you read this one? Can you see the screen now? If we have, um, let's see the English format, how would you read this? Hmm. Primero vamos a mencionar el mes, luego mencionamos el día y luego mencionaríamos el año. So it would be like this, it would be like a month, like month, 
And then we have the day uh, like this. And then we have the year. So how would you read it? Anybody who would like to help us? Uh, para darle una idea a uh, Shimara. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Thank you. July 12, 2021. Exactly. So, July 12, 2021. Okay. Um, Xiomara, le vamos a dar otra, otra oportunidad. Si lo escribimos, if I write this one. Um... Let's see an easy one. What about this one? A chat. No, on the on the on the screen. I just wrote it with the with the red color. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Puede ver la pantalla. No, uno la puede ver. Yo lo sé. Es que estoy teniendo problemas con ah, el audio uh -huh, y con uh -huh. el. Uh -huh. No, no problem, no problem. I'm sorry. No, no worries. Let's see, uh, Judy or Elsie. ¿Cómo leeríamos eso? How would you read this date? Yeah. Uh, January uh, 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 2nd, 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. January 2nd, 2020. I like it. Exactly. That's the one. Okay. This is just, you know, some other examples in how to read or, or the date. And then um, what questions do you guys have about this um Label any 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 questions guys that you want to or any comments that you want to um, add. You are going to create a label later on, okay? A shipping label. But then I want to know if you have any question or about this. Any questions? Are we okay with this? Oh, okay, sure. It's okay. Okay. All clear. Let's do something then. Let's let's move on because uh, we need to start working on the structure I said at the beginning. And this is how to use be going to. Before I explain, I want to want to know what you know about this and what or what you remember about this topic. Okay. When do we use be going to? I want to hear um, let's see, Christina, when do we use be going to? In the future. Okay. When, mm -hmm. when I make, I do the action in the future. When you do the action in the future, okay. So if you don't do the action in the future, we don't use going to. Okay, makes sense. Um, what else? Can you give me an example, Christina, in how to use it? I am going to send the emails tomorrow in the morning. Nice. Can you um, now tell me that, that question or that sentence, I'm sorry, in a negative form? Can you try to create it? I am not going to hear in, um, the dinner tomorrow. OK. <laughs> Because you are in fit, you're not gonna eat dinner tomorrow. Okay, good. Um, so what else? Let's see. Let me ask Jose Miguel. What do you know about be going to? Jose Miguel. Yes. No entiendo, teacher. What do you know? ¿Qué sabe del be going to? Del be going to. Ah, en español se lo puedo decir. Yeah, try. Que se usa para el futuro. Ok. Uh, Deme un ejemplo. Give me an example. Uh, I'm going to go to the gym. Ok. And can you make that negative? ¿Puedo hacer eso en una, en una forma negativa? 
I'm not going to the gym. I'm not going to go to the gym. I'm, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm recording. No, you're right. You're right. That's what you say. I'm not going to go to the gym. Okay. As you can see here, well, we have two two ways we have to, or two forms. We have the positive and we have the negative here. Okay. And uh, we have the positive. Uh, let's see, Jose, can you read? Please read the first example here, the positive and also read the negative here, please. Puede leer, solo leer los ejemplos. El número uno. Yo, yo, teacher. Okay, please go ahead, read. I'm Thank going you. to, I'm going to give you the information. And the negative? I'm not going to give you, you the information. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And let's see, next one, let's have Elsie. Elsie, can you read the next one, please? The okay. airline. Okay. The airline is going to transport the shipping. Sports. The airline is isn't going to transport the transport the shipping. Okay, good. Next one, let's see Gabriela Guadalupe. Next one, please. Your back. Okay, thank you. Yes, go ahead. Your package are going to arrive tomorrow. Your package aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Thank you so much. Your packages are going to arrive. Yes. And next one we have, let's see, Maria Julia, please. Where is? Maria Julia, can you read uh, the next two questions? Where and who? <laughs> Where is the package, package going to arrive mm -hmm. and who is going to deliver it? Okay, good. So in this chart, we have guys basically all the possible forms in how to use this structure, which is the be going to. And then let me see, let me erase everything. Give me one second. One second, please. Can you see my screen? Yes or not? Yes. Okay, good. So let me just go over this. Maybe uh, this is just a review, like I said at the beginning. And if we want to make a very in, uh, in the future form, we are just going to add the be going to before the base form of the verb. So that means that if we add, I'm going to, and then we add the verb, this verb that is right next to the going to must be in the base form. I am going to give you, I am going to help you, I am going to eat. I do not say I am going to eat and I don't say I am going to eat. No, because we have to say the verb in the base form. So uh, that is something that we have to have in mind. Tenemos que siempre utilizar a uh, Jose, Elsie, los demás, el verbo en su forma base. It doesn't change at all. Siempre. Base form. Si usamos el verbo tomar, uh, voy a tomarme un café. I'm going to drink a coffee tomorrow morning. I'm going to trabajar. I'm going to work tomorrow morning. It has to be the verb in the base form, siempre. Y como ustedes bien lo leyeron, si es negativo, la negación, the negative form se hace en el verbo to be. En vez de decir, I am going to, vamos a decir, I am not. En vez de decir, she is going to, vamos a decir, she isn't, isn't. 
The verb to be makes the negative. El verbo to be va a ser la negación del verbo este, en futuro. Okay, that's, that's for sure. Como ustedes pueden ver aquí también tenemos uh, las preguntas. Podemos construir preguntas de information y preguntas cerradas. Um, antes de explicar las preguntas que tenemos aquí, que tenemos dos, me gustaría que formulen en el chat a uh, todos a manera de práctica una pregunta con going to uh, cerrada, con unas re respuestas cortas. ¿Cuáles serían los posibles ejemplos? Pensemos, examples using going to with a just no answers. How do we make them? Porque no veo ninguna aquí en el, en el, en el cuadrito. Solo veo de information. Mándenme, porfa, al chat algunos para que los compañeros que puedan también revisar los ejemplos. General, whatever comes to your mind, lo que se le ocurra, lo que venga a la mente, as long as you follow the format, siempre y cuando sea en el formato. Yes, no questions. Let's say one minute. ¿Cómo iniciamos las preguntas? Ok, ahí tenemos un ejemplo. Linda, are you going to take a bus tomorrow? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Are you going to travel next month? Thank you, Dalia and Linda. Yes. Those two ones are the ones that we are looking for. Are you going to clean the house? Exactly. De, de ese, ese JC ya entraría en information, information, but I, I appreciate that. Where are you going to teach tomorrow? Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes. Las que, las que, son, de, las que son de yes, no, son las que comienzan con el verbo to be. Are you going to the meeting? Are you going to work? Is she going to come with us tomorrow? Is she, is she, is Daniel, is Linda, is Judy, is Gabriela, is uh, all of you, okay? So you can say that. Are Raquel and Judy going to receive classes tomorrow? Are you going to have dinner? Exactly. Es una cerrada, pero are we going to study? <laughs> Maybe. Um, so are we going to study something new? Dice Marlene. Okay, maybe yes. Okay, muy bien. Those are, I am going to, mm, ese Raquel hay que invertirlo. Am I going to go to the church tomorrow? Am I going to go to the church tomorrow? So if you are asking a question yourself, am I going to go to the church tomorrow? I'm not sure. So are you going to go to the church? That's different. Are you going to, are you going to the school? <clears throat> Quiero mencionar algo que es importante. El, um, cuando usamos el verbo going to, uh, el, uh, el, si el verbo que sigue es go, en muchas ocasiones no es necesario mencionarlo. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir I am going to the school tomorrow. Y you no, know, y puedo, puedo también decir I am going to go to the school tomorrow. Entonces, cuando por lo general el verbo que sigue es el, el go, eh, se puede obviar y no hay ningún problema. It sounds future, siempre suena a futuro. For example, I am going to go to the park tomorrow. Yo puedo decir I am going to the park tomorrow. Porque el verbo que sigue es go, lo puedo obviar y no, no hay ningún problema. Pero es cuando son planes que van a suceder. Uh, are you going to play soccer in the weekend? On the weekend. Are you going to work on Saturday, Judy? Siempre que ponemos una, un date, es on, on, the, on Saturday, on the weekend. Are you going to the beach tomorrow? Eso está bien, Elsie. Are you going to the beach tomorrow? I wish, I wish, I wish. Um, so what else? I see, are you going to dance in the, um, okay, the academy tomorrow? Academy tomorrow. Okay. Are you taking dancing classes? Yes. And what about if we make uh, questions with uh, WH words? 
me mandan, es, pensemos en siempre en mañana, tomorrow, o también pensemos uh, next week. Y en lo que tomo la, la asistencia, you guys give me example with WH word. Tratemos, let's try to use all the WH words we already know. We know when, we know where, we know how, we know uh, what else, why, we know which, what, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, start creating you know, questions using these WH words or question words. And I'm gonna check the attendance, okay? And you're going to share them with me later on, okay? So let's see. Um, okay, one second, please. Uh, number one on the list, this is Narciso. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Narciso. Uh, number two on the list is Cristina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel. Antonio, thank you so much. Elsie? Uh, here. Okay, Elsie is here. Uh, Gabriela Guadalupe? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Gabby Herson? Present teacher. Thank you, Herson. Jose Miguel? Yes, Jose. teacher. Thank you, Jose Rubén? Present teacher. Thank you, Ruben. JC. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Present Maria, teacher. Maria Idalia. Thank you. No problem, Maria Present. Idalia. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. Marlene Nicole. Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Rafa. Present I'm here, I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Norma. Thank you, Rafa. Raquel. Present. Thank you, Rey. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rey. Xiomara. Xiomara. I saw Xiomara con el título. She's having trouble, as she said. Present teacher. Okay. And last but not the least, Judy. Judy. Present. Thank you. Oh, now Present. we are, Wow, now it's like we have full house. Everybody is here. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, 21. Okay, um, so let's, I want to read your example. Wow, you have been sending, that's so cool. Uh, where are mm, where are going? You're missing the subject, Christina. Where are you? We they is missing. Who is going to practice in class? Okay, that one, Norma. It's okay because with who you can omit the subject when you are looking for the subject. Who is going to practice in class? It's an open question looking for the subject. In that one, you can omit the subject and it's okay. Uh, Daniel, where do you, mm, where are you, Daniel? Where are you going to, uh, where do you, Daniel, maybe you want to double check that one. Maybe where or what are you going to do tomorrow morning? Something like that. But do is not okay there. Maybe we need to change. We need to change that into better to be. When is Laura going to get married? Okay, I like that one. When are you going to celebrate your birthday? What are you going to, what are you going to do tomorrow in the afternoon? Yes. Uh, who is going to come tomorrow to work? Okay, yes. What else? ¿Y los que no han mandado? Why? Open your mic y ahora díganme los verbally speaking. Are you going to work tomorrow, Marvin? Mm -hmm. Let's use WH words. Let's use uh, why, when, where, any, where are you going to eat tomorrow, tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, that's it. Let's, let's omit okay. it in the night. Okay. What else? More examples. Raquel, your example. Your example, Jose Miguel, I haven't seen your example. What are you going to do the next weekend? What are you going to do next weekend? Okay, good. 
What are you going to do next weekend? Okay. Let's see. Who else? Maria, Idalia, another example. When are you going to celebrate your birthday? No, 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 when, where? Maria, where are you going to celebrate your next birthday? Not where, when. No, I'm, this, is just, this is another question. <laughs> uh, okay. Where, where, because it makes sense. If you think when, where, who are you going to invite for your birthday, for example? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen your example, please do it. Do it. I see some who um, haven't sent. One, two, three. Okay, let's do something. Let's go ahead and, and um, complete this exercise uh, with the practice we have on the on the handout here. We have, let's see, three um, questions, and then you're going to put the words in order, okay? When you have, you put it in order, and then you think about, you know, the answer, okay? Go ahead, and start working on this, please. Where are they going to pick up the package? Okay. Eh, ¿Sería yes. negativo eso? Um, no. If, if, if there isn't any negative here, I mean, you can still say it, but then if there aren't any negative words, we use we just go ahead and say it like in question form without being negative. Now let's think about the, the answer, please. Pensemos en la respuesta ahora. Now that we have the question, let's think about the answer. Y las respondemos, please. The answers, guys, just uh, you can give your own answer, okay? As long as it makes sense, totally okay. If you finish fast, please say if you finish, that will be great. So we can start sharing. We have one message here. Let's see, Christina finished. Okay, thank you for confirming, Christina. Um, so Christina, what is your answer for number one? And what is your um, answer for that question? Go ahead and tell me the entire, please. Um, the question and the answer, I will appreciate. Go ahead, please. Okay, where are they going to pick up the 
package. The package are going to pick up in the airport. I like that answer. Okay. And uh, to pronounce uh, paquete, we say pack H, package. And I need to make a very little modification on the answer. Can you say it one more time? Please. Repeat the, the answer. Yes, repeat the answer, yes. The package are going to pick up in the airport. Hmm. Let me um, write what you're saying here. The package, the package are going, going, to, going to what? What going to pick up? Pick up in the airport. In the airport. Okay. And um, what about? If we make a modification here, we make a change because you want to say, the question is, where are they going to pick up the package, right? So we want to say, they, they, they are going to pick up the package, you see? And then you, I add in the airport or at the airport. Okay. Why am I making this change? They are going to pick up the package in the airport because uh, I, don't, I cannot say the package are going to because we need to say first who performs the action. Quien hace, quien ejecuta la acción. Por eso que ponemos they primero. They are going to pick up the package at the airport. Okay, let's make that change. Okay, the idea is like um, is that we follow this structure, right? Who performs the action? Be going to the verb, and then it's complement. So that 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 can be one option. Okay. So what else? Anybody else want to share the same number one? Because we might have different answers, and that's what I want to hear. One more volunteer. Marlene, give us your answer, please. What did you write for the answer number one? Mm. Don't finish. You haven't finished. You too, but he, he, no. Yeah. <laughs> Marlene, what are you doing? Let's see, JC, what do you have? What's your answer for number one? Me? JC? Mm. Or Narciso? And number three, finish number, teaching number one and two. I, I think that, tengo duda. For Me? number three, I, I think that finish. Number one. Mm -hmm. And what about number one? What happens to number one? <laughs> no, <way>. too easy. <laughs> oh yeah, um. Narciso, what do you have for number one? No have it. You don't have it. I have picture. Thank you so much, guys. Here, my time is raining a lot. I really hope the, the electricity doesn't, you know, go off. So yeah, Daniel, tell us, tell us, please. They they going to pick up the package on the, on that room. Okay, they are going to pick up the packages on that room. Okay, from okay, yeah, why not? What else? Uh, what about number two? Let's see, Linda, help us with number two, please. Question and answer. Okay, the question is, who is going to receive the shipping? And the answer, Mario is going to receive the shipping. Mario, okay, Mario is the one, is the guilty. And number three, JC, now you have number three. Hey teacher, mm -hmm. um, when is going to arrive the new material? 
The new material going to arrive tomorrow. Hmm, I have a, a little change on that one. You say when is going to arrive the new material, you say, right? What is what can the, we change? The the new material arrive tomorrow. Mm -hmm. When is what? When is something needs to be changed here? When if we follow the formula, we say when, when is, is when is no. going to the new going to arrive tomorrow. Exactly. The when is the new material, material going to arrive? Exactly. When is the new material going to arrive? So we need to follow the formula because after the bird is, we need to have the subject. In this case, is the new material. That's why we made that change, JC. When is the new material going to arrive? Mm -hmm. And then we say the new material is going to arrive whenever, whenever you decide. Okay, so that, that little change, okay? Um, now, do you have questions, guys? How to create um, negatives, how to create positives uh, and Yes, no questions, any information, no questions with going to. ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda de la estructura? Mi, re, mi recomendación es siempre apegarnos a la estructura, a la fórmula, ¿verdad? Si es una pregunta de, de información, primero vamos a poner el uh, WH word, el verbo to be, is, are, or am, y luego nuestro sujeto, subject, y luego vamos a agregar el going to, así como tal cual. No vamos a salirnos de esa línea. ¿Ok? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Mire, no sé de qué está hablando, es nuevo, o sí, más o menos, ya entendí algunos otros ejemplos, porque lo que viene ahorita es, una, es un role play y es, los role play son los que nos retan un poco más. Un juego de roles, y ahí ustedes lo están viendo también en sus, en sus manuales, en sus manuales. Uh, but before we do that, I want to make sure we have um, the, um, I mean, we have clear how to make those uh, statements, negatives, affirmative questions. Si alguien tiene pregunta, está bien que lo haga en este momento, de cómo estar going to. Okay. Uh, so if there are no questions, vamos a hacer un shipping label. Y aquí usted va a ponerle el, el, su toque personal. You're going to personalize it. Un shipping label, usted decide de qué compañía, usted lo crea. Address and all that. Y luego, based on that, we're going to create a conversation. Y la, es, va a ser una, como una llamada, una simulación. Uno va a ser quien llama para pedir la, la información y el otro es el agent, el que le asiste para darle la información. Luego que se termina este, hacemos un switch, el roles, y el agente pasa a ser quien llama para pedir información, and vice versa. Okay. Uh, first step, crear el shipping label. Next, we have uh, the conversation going. Para ello... Uh, Voy a crear las parejas si por casualidad alguien se va a su partner, me llama, voy a estar pendiente para ver cómo hacemos ahí la, la modificación a medida que todos puedan participar. Um, ok, so let's see, we're going to create the, the groups. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta antes de, de, de enviarlos a los grupos? Guys. Uno, un grupo va a quedar de tres porque se acaba de desconectar a alguien. Bueno, ok. Here we go then, aquí vamos. Aprovechemos el tiempo porque pasa bien rápido, así que cualquier cosa también me pueden hacer las preguntas.
Recording in progress. Entonces le digo yo, hello. Eh, ¿En qué puedo ayudarle? Ok. Hello, good night. Hello. What's this? Chicos, necesitaban ayuda. Vi que habían levantado la mano. Ah. Sí, teacher, es que por lo menos yo no sabía las indicaciones porque me sacó, me sacó y no me dejaba entrar a la reunión nuevamente. Este, lo que vamos a hacer en primer lugar, Marvin, es crear una, una, una etiqueta de envío. Y como la de que tienen en sus cuadernos. Y con base a eso van a crear una conversación. Uh, no, vamos a hacer solo la conversación. Tío. No, primero es la etiqueta. La etiqueta de envío como la que el ejemplo que tiene. La etiqueta de envío como la que el ejemplo que tiene. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Involucren también a José. Ahí que está José. Ah, tenemos un sí. que no lo vemos. No yo, teacher, estoy cama. teniendo problemas con el audio. Yo si pongo la cámara, se me va el inter. Okay, no, thank no, you, teacher. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Bueno, aquí vamos a ver cómo salimos. Entonces vamos a crear la etiqueta. Entonces vamos a poner... Uh, ya tienen su etiqueta, JC, de envío. No, teacher, estamos aún trabajando estamos en eso. Trabajando en eso. Teacher, solo, solo que quiero ver, sería como... We are made... We are made to... To... In the branch number two. Necesito que me lo lleve. I need to I need to make in the branch number two. Branch number two. ¿Qué es branch? Es como la sucursal número dos. Oh. Que me lo lleve la sucursal número dos. Branch. 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 Uh, branch. branch. Uh, branch. Yeah, así quería decirlo. <laughs> pero... <laughs> Vaya. Eh, eh, que suene la, la N, JC. Branch. 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 Uh-huh. Branch. I want, I need you to send it to, uh -huh. I need you to send it to branch number two. Me parece, pero acuérdense que es una llamada. Primero, la, primero hacer la etiqueta, ¿verdad? Y le pide la información del envío. Uh -huh. eh, hi, Juan Carlos. I, I want to, I want to send you a package. Eh, luego tú dijiste, Carla, que era Where are we going to deliver the package? Uh -huh. Y después, I need going to make in the branch. Branch y, number two. Number two. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Ahí, ahí, vamos. Ahí, ahí va, vamos, ahí, 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 vamos. Ahí, ahí va, ahí va. Luego, exactamente, ahí va. Bueno, me voy. Ahí, este, él sí, si sí puede, tiene internet y le funciona haciendo la cámara. Que ahí veo que se está ocultando, no don't hide, no se esconda. No me sé. Hello, hello, hello. You need help? Hello. Sol, solita la dejaron. Eso le quería decir. En serio. Vaya, mire, qué galamba. La vamos a, la vamos a mandar con alguien, entonces para que, quiero ver, ahí hace donde la voy a asignar. La voy a asignar con, quiero ver, Gerso, María Dalia. Ya sé, ya sé dónde la voy a hacer. Con Daniel, ahí escuche cómo Daniel va a, va a coordinar con Rubén. Está en el, en, el, en el número 3, están ellos. Ok, ahorita la vamos a asignar. El número 3, usted está en el 6. Ok, del 6 al 3 vamos a hacer el cambio. Ok, bueno, ya la vamos a asignar. Bye. Bye.
Hola. Uh, thanks for for waiting, Miss Miss Mary. Waiting. Thank you for waiting, Miss Miss Mary. Or oh. Mary, Mary, yeah. uh, Mary. Okay. Yeah, he, your your package. No sé. Your package. ¿Qué? ¿Está en dónde? Is located, le ponemos. Lo... Ajá, puede ser. Your package is located in... Located, located es la cosa. <laughs> located. 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 Is located. Is located. Oh, package is... O solamente your package is in, no sé. No, hay que ponerle, is located in. Your package. La paneca le voy a poner. Your, en la oficina postal, no. Que lo puede pasar a recoger. Thanks for waiting. Your package is in. Your package is going to arrive tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sí. Para ap apunte eso, eh, Raquel, lo que va a decir usted. Tenía good Ella morning. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Good good morning. Good. Your package is arrived tomorrow, mo tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Morning. Y ahí hace, hace una, ahí haría una prueba.
order. Teacher. Is it going? ¿Cómo estamos? Finish. Teacher. Una pregunta, teacher. Dígame, María Julia. Se me ha olvidado cómo decimos yo soy. Yo soy yeah. Julio. I am. Pero me acuerdo que usted dijo. This is, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is full. This ay, is. ay. Puedo decir, I am, or this is, en teléfono, por lo general se dice, this is, this ay. is full. Uh -huh. Aunque okay. la verdad que si, si dicen I am, no, no hay ningún problema, pero yo creo que un americano diría, this is. Porque ay. cuando, cuando pregunta, decimos, is this, is this Narciso? <laughs> is this, así se pregunta, uh -huh, por teléfono. Así es, ¿cómo van? Ya más o menos estaba viendo los demás y pues aún están practicando. Recuerden que van a cambiar roles. Una vez usted agente, each, una vez usted el, el customer, pero cambien el rol y creen la, la, la shipping label porque la van a mostrar ahí. Tienen que tener la lista a su estilo, ¿verdad? Desordenado, <risa> menos. María Julia Gómez. Ah, vuelva a hacer y hágala bien bonita para que sí. bueno Are we, are we ready, this group? Is this group ready? Gerson, Maria, Idalia, ready? Se durmieron? <laughs> yes. No, yet. <laughs> okay. Um, no, teacher, me parqué un ratito aquí para... Ah, para ver, es pero cierto. Casi todo lo hizo Maria Idalia ahí, sorry. No, it's okay, I know. Ese grupo ha quedado bien... Bien, es equilibrado. Así que, remember that you're going to exchange roles, right? Switch roles. Así que, eh, si tienen el label, lo van, you're going to show it to, the, to your classmate, your creation. Um, vamos a dar unos cinco minutos más quizás, porque algunos aún están haciendo el label. Así okay. que, uh, practice. Si ya lo tienen listo, pues just wait for me sometime and then I will call you back to the main session, okay? Okay, okay. Christine, I hope my merchandise tomorrow morning. Uh -huh. Y yo después le contesto, ok, Reinaldo. Thank you. Al final, ponle tomorrow morning with house fire. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué le pasó? What happened? ¿Con quién estaba trabajando? Gabriela. Gaby. Ah, no, hombre, es que me terminó el link, teacher. Hello, ah, teacher. La vamos a asignar para que vaya a escuchar a un grupo. Oye, solo ahí vea si lo diga que va a estar escuchándoles, nada más. Si se la puede incluir, pues qué chivo. Sí, no, no estoy entendiendo el tema. Gabriela. Si gusta, ya la, ya la uní con el grupo número 4. Solo vaya como listener y, el, y eso le va a ayudar un poco a más bueno, ir comprendiendo la dinámica de la que estamos trabajando.
teacher. O podríamos decir ahí. Are you, are you ready? I'm sorry to interrupt. Teacher, teacher is correct. Could you, could you, could you in, give the, me... in the conversation or in the simple, what is the shipping address? Could you give me the shipping address, please? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Could you Bye. give me the address? Could you 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 give Ok, no, es ok. Es fine. Ya tienen listo. Vaya, ustedes yes. solo déjenme que los demás grupos aún están ahí. Eh, ah, okay. Así que, eh, try to practice. Ajá, Judy. La fecha sería, podría ser July 14, 2021. July 14. O tiene que ser. Sí, uh -huh. O tengo que decir los números. No, en July. Tiene que, ser, ah. tiene que ser así como lo acaba de hacer, July 14th, 2021. Ajá, porque es 0714, oh. no, no, es July 14th. Mention the number. Se, teacher se pone así la fecha o como July 7, 2021. Así como lo acaba de hacer en, en este, con letras sería lo ideal. Ajá. Así ah, sería okay. July 14th. Ajá. Así. Vaya, mire, ya casi okay. se termina el tiempo. Ya lo voy a llamar todo así. Yo... Ok, ok. All right. Cristina, did you finish? Terminaron, Cristina. <laughs> yes, vaya, porque creo que algunos no han terminado. It's okay. But are you ready, right? Listo, lista. Okay, nice. Let's wait for the other ones to come back. Let's see. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Ay, nos llama de primera a nosotros para que terminemos rápido. Ustedes, but you guys, okay. I like it. I like it, Cristina. I like that attitude. That is the attitude, okay. Okay, I don't know if I caught your inspiration, if you were practicing or, or I don't know what you were doing. But um, okay, we are going to start sharing because time flies like an airplane or even faster, okay? And well, let's see, I'm going to ask volunteers or maybe not volunteers because Cristina is willing to start participating. And, uh, and Ray, is as well <laughs> so let's listen to them your time you can share the screen if you would like to okay <laughs> okay so that's gonna be jc then it's not gonna be christine okay go ahead 
JC and Elsie. Hi, Gonzalo. Are you going to send you a package? We are we going to take the package? Uh, I need going to make in the branch number two. Who is going to receive a package? Mauricio is going to receive uh, the package. Uh, when it is going to arrive at the store. The package is going to arrive on Wednesday. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Only that teacher. Switch it. <laughs> Go. Okay. Hello, hello, Elsie. I'm going to send you a package. Hello, Carlos. Where are you? Where are we going to deliver the package? I need going to take in the branch number two. Who is going to receive the package? Stephanie is going to receive. When is going to they arrive at the store? The bucket is going to arrive on Wednesday. Okay, thank you. I like it, like uh, you're making you're it see as if, okay, I'm <laughs> sorry for, for interrupting. Um, well, thank you so much, JC, and thank you so much, Elsie, um, for that participation. Okay, that was uh, good. So you basically simulated as if you already knew each other, okay? Now, the groups that are coming, I want you to please challenge yourself a little bit more. What about if you make it like as if you don't know each other? For example, maybe you want to uh, like may, uh, simulate a, a phone call. I don't know how you prepared it, but I would love to hear like somebody calling and like kind of like um, claiming or you know your order and asking where it is and it's because you haven't received it. I don't know, but uh, if you can make it, let's see, um, sort of like a, kind of like a phone call it'll be great okay so you greet and you close the call that can be an option but just just a comment okay so maybe now we can listen to christina christina and ray christina go ahead ray, please are you ready uh, hello christina have you been how much my Mercedes? Hello, Mr. Reynaldo. You Mercedes are going to receive tomorrow in the morning. Can you give me information about the day and quantity? Of course, the day February 10, 2021, and the quantity is 300 units. Okay, Christina, I hope my merchandise tomorrow morning with with our fall. Okay, Renaldo, with fall, with how fall. Thank you, Christina, for your information. You're welcome, Mr. Reynaldo. Switch it, switch it, please. Uh, I think it's merchandise, right? Merchandise. Is it? Sí. Merchandise, okay. Merchandise and then 21st, not 21. Okay, let's do it. Go ahead, once again. Switch roles. Hello, Mr. Reynaldo. How much will my merchandise have? Ooh. Your merchandise, you reside and go to tomorrow. Board in the morning. Do you give me please information about the day and the quantity? Of course, the day is then uh, second 2021. 20, and the quantity is 300 units. 
Okay, Mr. Reynaldo, I hope my art tomorrow morning. It will fall without fall. Okay, Christina, with how for? Thank you for information. You're welcome, Christine. You're welcome, Ray. Only that, teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Christina and, and Ray. Um, there's one phrase that you say I I try to understand. Uh, what was the last phrase you said, Ray? La última frase que le dijo a Cristina. Thank you for... Thank you for your information. Y antes de esa, hay una más que menciona. Without far. Oh, without far. Okay. 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 Podemos decir without um, delay también. Uh -huh. Without delay. Uh -huh. Without delay. Sounds sounds good. Without delay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, so thank you so much then, uh, Christina and Ray. I need uh, to listen or we have space for one more participation. And every, everybody will do it, of course. But then we can retake tomorrow. But I want to know who's ready for today. I My think group. Okay, Marlene, go ahead, please. Okay, girls. <laughs> okay. Oops. No. Sorry. Norma. Okay. Hello. Thank you for call at FedEx. This is Norma. How can I help you? Hi Norma, I'm trying my my picture. picture. All right, may I may I your name and tracking number, please? Yuri Hernandez, and my tracking number is zero eight zero nine nine six. Will you give me the shipping address? Is be is be a crew. Is B Veracruz, San Marcos, CA eleven zero zero seven eight. Thank you. And what is the mailing address? Sur is Ilopango, El Salvador, a five five hundred. There, there. Okay. And finally, could you get me the unit, please? Uh, to any unit. All right, your package is arriving in Ilopango in July 14, 2021. Thank you for having me. Have a good day. Thanks. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Some little observations. Um, let's see. Uh, hi, Norma. I'm track my package. Sería, I'm tracking my package. ING, I'm tracking. Y lo otro, may I have, may I have your name? May I have your name? May I have, me puede dar tu nombre? May I have your name? And then, uh, para pronunciar seguro, por supuesto, sure. Uh, Yuri, sure, sure, sure. sure. Uh -huh. sure. y lo demás sounds about right so ah, thank you for okay. helping me but the for le ponemos helping el verbo va en in, 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 in I'm sorry thank you for calling thank oh, you for uh -huh. or, or thank you for calling uh -huh. thank you for calling okay. FedEx have a good day thank you for contacting <laughs> FedEx uh, okay, I like this one. This format is really cool. You know, that's that sounds like a real call. No tenemos tiempo para escuchar. Marlene solo era la. Marlene solo estaba compartiendo. Okay, Marlene, mañana le va a tocar yeah. a usted. Okay, okay, okay uh, guys, two minutes. Uh, Angel Narciso. Narciso, you here? Say present, say something. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Narciso. Good night, Narciso. Uh, next teacher. one, Cristina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Elsie. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you, Harrison. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you, JC. Present teacher. Linda. Present teacher. Maria Idalia. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Present. Marvin. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Rafa. I'm in here, teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Ray. Present teacher. Xiomara. Present teacher. And Judy. Guys, este día ha sido perfect, at, perfect <laughs> attendance. Así, ajá, una, una asistencia perfecta. Uh, asistencia perfecta. Así que, keep it up like that. Thank you so much and have a good night and see you tomorrow. Mañana Yay. lo que faltaron, sin falta, solo me quedo con la persona que le corresponde la sesión. No se vayan, si no se van y me dejan aquí. Alone. So have a nice night. Bye bye. 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 Tenio. <risa> Pero, pues, este no, tenemos, no tenemos un horario. <risa> no, sí, ahí se no. los mandé. ¿Cuándo lo mandó? Ah, sí. no lo <risa> <risa> Yo me quedé porque estaba respondiendo un WhatsApp, por eso no me tenía tiempo. <risa> Vaya, no, como si tiene preguntas, pues, si tiene preguntas, ah. you're welcome. Si tiene preguntas, sí, bienvenido. Sí. Sí, Mire, ¿sabe qué? Le voy, a, le voy a compartir algo. Estaba revisando este, por el formato de label que nos presentaban y la verdad que está a little bit confusing porque es, yo trabajé un ratito en, 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 en AT&T y nosotros usamos nuestro shipping label, nuestro shipping Ajá. address, donde se va a mandar el... el, el este, el paquete, dónde? ajá. Y, pero aquí ajá. El, el, el manual lo plantea como shipping de dónde y mailing a dónde porque, se envía. Porque, y, porque yo estuve, yo estuve, vaya, estuve haciendo un poco de trampa. ¿va? Estuve buscando en, en, en el traductor y me decía shipping address como dirección de envío. Exacto. O sea, exacto. Ajá, y, y la otra, la otra que era este, mailing address el apartado postal. Exactamente. Ah, entonces, por eso, por eso, ya después no quise, eh, no quise, quise darle más largo a eso, ¿verdad? pero en, yo entiendo que el shipping address es la dirección hacia donde va el, en, 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 en la dirección de destino. Sí, pues, pues yo, yo cuando le pedí al cliente, give me your shipping address, era la, esa dirección. Y el Exacto. detalle de que, Ajá. de que, este, en la observación que tenemos aquí, porque, y puedo, ya re, revisé y si nos aparece que es shipping, es de dónde otra vez. Entonces creo que tiene que ver más con, con este quizás criterio del creador del label. ¿Verdad? Porque, ajá, porque este, estaba, estaba buscando aquí, porque también me, me, me quedó un poco como shipping, si yo me acuerdo que le pedí a los clientes el shipping para mandarles la orden a ellos ahí. Exacto, ajá. Ajá. Igual cuando, igual cuando, cuando yo cuando a veces yo ando comprando cosas así, ajá. en una eh, buy eh, stuff on eBay, y no no show, only show the price, y no in not show the, 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 the shipping, I, I'm saying I'm sending a message to the to the seller. How how many how uh, do you ship in to El Salvador? Uh, mm -hmm. How much? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, okay. I I I understand shipping is the uh, destination. Envia, eh, destination. Ah, es que ship es el verbo enviar. 
Ship es, es enviar. Ship es el Ajá. verbo enviar. Siempre va a ser uh -huh. enviar. Uh, uh -huh. What are you shipping? Exactly. Entonces, uh -huh. uh, creo que es un poco más de criterio y de la creación del label. Y así que, pero sí, shipping va a ser siempre envío. Eso sí, siempre. Envío, pero uh -huh. hay, por ejemplo, cuando dice hay un shipping fee, es un cargo de envío. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así es, Daniel. Do you have any okay. other question, Daniel, or, or any comments? Um, bueno, si quizás lo, lo ¿cómo, hacer la, cómo hacer las preguntas en negativo. Uh -huh. Hay preguntas en negativo. Sí se puede. Sí, este, es, sí se puede. El único que suena más a sugerencia, um, por ejemplo, um, Why aren't you going to come? ¿Por qué no vas a venir? Um, why aren't you going to come? Or why isn't she going to go to the beach? Como si se puede hacer la, lo único que la, la pregunta negativa siempre la, la, va a ser determinada por el, por el verbo to be. Ahí se le pone. En vez de decir, um, vaya, are you going to come tomorrow? ¿Vas a venir mañana? La pregunta sería, aren't you going to come tomorrow? No, no vas a venir mañana. O sea, que siempre la negación se va a hacer en el verbo to be. Okay. Ahí, ahí, ahí se formula. Sí se puede hacer. Sí se siempre uh -huh. se hace. Uh -huh. okay. Así es, Daniel. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Ok, do you like, do you like the, the, the people ah, who I sent hey, yesterday? Yeah, they're cool. And you're lucky, <laughs> I, man. You got a good job. I'm going to send uh, tomorrow uh, another, another picture of C-17 is, is a big airplane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a big airplane. <laughs> I didn't know I'm about gonna, that. I, I, I'm going to say a picture from the front of the airplane. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say the one, one video is, is where is the airplane is, uh, okay? At the landing. Landing, landing. Uh -huh. landing, landing. Land, land, landing in the airport. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, okay. nice, thank you so much for sharing, Daniel. Ahí vamos a estar pendiente y tiene un, un... perdón, uh -huh. tiene un excelente no, no, sí. trabajo. Ah, gracias, gracias. Y, y, y entonces a quién le tocaba ahora, a mí me tocaba. No, ayer le tocaba a usted. Ayer. <risa> y, a, ¿Y ahora, está, pues? ahora le ah, tocaba sí. a él, sí, él sí la primera que se fue. Ah, no, hombre. Sí. Es que no, me, no me recuerdo yo de haberlo visto. Allí, en, allí está. En, 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 ¿cómo ahí, se llama? Ahí, ahí, en, ahí está. Es, yo se lo Pero mandé. Bueno, lo importante es que ya, ya, sí. ya cumplí mi sí, tarea. Está bien, usted vaya, pues cuídese mucho. Eh. Try to okay. rest. Ahí, bye. Ok, okay. buenas noches, sí. Gracias.